Hey there, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot predictions for the week of December 10th through the 17th, 2023. And just a quick heads up, remember, if you are curious as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up, check out your rising sign video. And for the less prominent, albeit still significant, side story of the week, make sure that you're also checking out your moon sign video. So let's get down to business and see what is going on. Just going to charge up the cards, and here we go. Spiritual themes, money and material concerns, news from other people, challenges, and love. Okay. All right. So your big spiritual theme, your big focus of this week is the Five of Cups reversed, which is all about recovery, replacements, replenishment. This is going to be a week where a lot of you Sagittarius people are going to be finding that a lot of empty spaces in your life, whether it's options or whether it's material resources, money, social contacts, or even things going on at work are all going to be starting to experience that replenishment uh, effect. Now, this could be something going on where a lot of old losses or disappointments are getting replaced with better opportunities and better options, or there could even be some second chances or again, recoveries also happening. Whatever is going on this week, though, you want to be ready because the Five of Cups reversed does require you to make sure that you are in a place where you can work with what is coming forward. When it comes to your material circumstances, work, job, finances, all of that, you've got the Hierophant reversed. And so this week, there is going to be some kind of news about a rule uh, or uh, maybe a bylaw, the law of the land, so to speak, going through a major change, either at your organization that you work for, in your field, in your business, or maybe even something around a contract or an agreement or a financial arrangement that you have. Now, with the Hierophant card reversed, this can actually be a very good thing because the Hierophant reversed can also indicate a change in something that, um, just by its very existence, was perhaps a block or a boundary that was fencing you in or maybe limiting your movements or limiting your options in some way. The Hierophant card reverse can indicate that there's, well, there will be a learning curve to this adjustment, but this is also something that's going to, um, again, pay off very well for you. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Hermit upright. This week, you may be finding yourself in a space where you're getting a chance to reconnect with an important ally or contact with whom you share a, a pretty special bond. Now, with the Hermit, this is likely somebody that you don't really see all the time. This is not somebody you communicate with all the time, but this is somebody that, again, you are really good friends with. And with the Hermit, this could be something that is kind of giving you a bit of a reset on your life and their life as well. There may even be some kind of very important plan or new story unfolding with this person, something that is going to be of mutual benefit for both of you. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Seven of Pentacles upright. Letting things play out. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles is all about patience. It's all about knowing when things are, you know, when, letting things have their time. Sometimes we could be tempted when good things happen uh, to rush them, to push them forward too fast. Um, you know, oh, if it's going to happen in a month, why can't it happen right now? 
Well, because it's not ready. You're pulling the, the, the bun out of the oven way too soon. It's going to fall and it's not going to be any good. The Seven of Pentacles is indicating this week you may need to be ready to practice some serious patience when it comes to good developments that are growing consistently. However, also be ready with the Seven of Pentacles. There may be something going on where you also need to make sure that you know how to weed and tend to certain projects or certain um, you know investments that you've made where we may have not been um, keeping a close an eye on them. Uh, you know, it's time to take stock. Where have we not really uh, you know done our upkeep and catch that as we go through the week as well, because there may be some hidden gems, hidden prizes, or hopefully averted uh, issues that we may come upon that we didn't know were there. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the emperor upright. And the emperor is all about uh, relationship partners kind of becoming superheroes this week. Um, this could be your partner or your spouse, or this could be somebody new or or known that you're not in a relationship with but coming closer into your space for those of you who are single or available the emperor card upright indicates some kind of powerful level up um, or increase in stature status and influence that your partner or your love interest is coming into this week and there is also something they are getting equipped with that is going to be um, giving them the power and the influence to alter something that you um, and they have both been kind of struggling to conquer. Now, for those of you who are single or available to new people, this could be you just meeting somebody that in a way is kind of fighting a similar battle to you or may have something uh, like a connection or advice or some kind of resource that they use when they are in the same kind of situation. Um, again, we've got this sort of superhero feel going on. This could also indicate a situation where a partner or, uh, again, a new love interest for those of you who are single or available, may be stepping forward this week and actually helping you eliminate something that you have been battling all on your own. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.